Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda Art Space, and we're coming um, today with our third week of our collab, our final week. Oh, so sad. It's all over. It's been so much fun. I've loved seeing what everyone has been creating every week, and I can't wait to see what everyone creates this week. So this week I've made a off-the-page item. The piece I started with, I will link it below. It's basically a big house tags. So I've got one big house tag at the front and one at the back. And the sides I've filled in with just some cereal box cardboard. Um, I do have the process video of this one over on my work channel, Scrapbooking and Craft, and I will link it below. So I'm just trying to let you see the texture. So on all surfaces I have put texture paste. So I've used like a rock stencil on this face here and the back face as well. It doesn't really have a front or a back. On the sides I've put like lumpy texture paste like um, if it would have rocks and I've put some texture paste on here and made some texture in it with a palette knife and I've also done it down there as well so every surface has texture paste on it. And this piece is quite heavy so this one, this wall here, I've got all chunkiness down the side and on the edges just to make it look old. I've also added, oh, I do apologise about the shadowing, I'm not sure whether I can fix that. There we go, that might be a bit better. I'm still going to shadow. Um, I love all the pieces and then these like wrought iron gates here is actually a die cut, an unnamed die cut I got from overseas. Um, just made of paper and I did them out of paper. I could have made them out of chipboard but I wanted them to look old and rustic and sort of I don't mind that they look like they're half falling off if that makes sense because it adds to it. And I've got a little piece in here and long pieces along here and another one on the top as well. So this was made as a tea light candle holder and if I can find my tea light candles before this video needs to go up I will darken the room when it gets dark tonight put the tea lights in it so you've got a space for a tea light candle in the bottom and it has to be a battery operated one because this is made all out of paper you can drop one down there or you could drop something down there that's sort of a like a big pencil holder it goes down quite deep so it goes down to about here so it goes down about that big about 10 centimeters and you could also put a tea light here as well um, just one of those battery operated ones so be sure to check out the last and final week of everyone's collab I can't wait to see what they make the chipboard is so versatile you can make um, signs like I made the first week you can make 3d house decor which is amazing you can make um, decorate the small pieces and make cards like I did last week it's just amazing what you can what you can do with chipboard it's so versatile it's only limited by your imagination so thank you for watching be sure to check out the links below there'll be a link to my business channel I'll link to the piece of chipboard I used for this and I'll also link to all the other collaborating participants as well bye for now